We just paid you 2.6 million dollars. I mean, we just paid you 2.6 million dollars, Freedom Family. Your next payment will be just in two and a half weeks. It'll be for more than 2.6 million total. It'll be on March 18th. This is the first time we're moving up our payments to March 18th, which is earlier than everybody else, including YouTube. You can see that YouTube pays between the 21st and 26th of the month, and we're gonna be paying on the 18th starting in 18 days. If you didn't know that, click that I to see more details about how Freedom pays earlier than every other MCN and YouTube itself starting March 18th. And there's a little bit of a scary message that I just noticed about sharing links in your content through contests or similar means is not allowed. Let's talk about that after we mention how we paid you this 2.6 million. This is our earnings UI behind me. We paid it in two chunks. One was this 1.8 million. And what I do is I just click this pay all button and voila, $1.8 million vanishes from our accounts and appears in yours. Pretty cool. And then for the other 800,000, we sent it as a separate payment here. And that's because we pay some of you early and others later. I'll tell you more on that soon, but this is me sending the other 800,000 and that magically appeared in your account. So total 2.6 million. We support PayPal, wire transfer and Payoneer now, actually almost $30,000 was sent by Payoneer to you this month. I'm sure that'll grow next month as more of you choose Payoneer as your preferred payment option. Now let's talk about this scary message. This appeared in my <laughs> uh, Creator Studio saying, sharing links in your content that serves solely to drive up views, likes, etc., through contests or other similar means is not allowed. Now when I clicked learn more, it took me to this official YouTube help article behind me. I read it very carefully and the key, I think, is this incentivized spam where content that sells engagement metrics or any other metric on YouTube, including content where the sole purpose is to boost, whoops, I'm hiding it, to boost subscribers, views, or other metrics, example, sub for sub content, is not allowed. Now we all know sub for sub is not allowed. YouTube made that clear many months ago. But I think this includes now videos where you're saying, hey, I have a giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel or like my Facebook page and click the link down there below and to be entered. To me, I think if you're making videos like that, stop and be careful because YouTube may YPP suspend your channel for violating this incentivized spam policy, which is all part of the spam deceptive practices and scams policies. Now we've seen channels get YPP suspended for this reason, video spam. But we've also seen channels get YPP suspended for misleading metadata or thumbnails. So make sure you have only relevant titles, tags, descriptions, and thumbnails. We haven't yet seen channels get suspended for this, but don't wait for it to happen. I'm sure it will happen. Make sure you don't do these incentivized contests anymore. Do you do them? Do you do other kinds of contests that you feel are okay? Tell us down there in the comments below what you do and share links to the videos showing your contest. We'd love to see them so we can all, say it with me, help each other grow together as a family. Now let's read some of your deserving comments, something we haven't done in a long time. Bad George. And we have this scary reminder at the top of this page again. So the first comment I want to focus on is right here by Secret French Fry. He said, I would like to thank George personally for this amazing series. He's talking about the KYC series, Know Your Channel, where I describe reasons for getting demonetized and how to avoid them. Click that eye to see the whole series. It's a playlist. What I want to point out is his tip. He wrote, I personally recommend putting comments on review first before posting. What that means is, he will never get a like bad comment to appear on his channel because every comment will be for review. Do you think that's a good practice? Tell me down there in the comments below what you do to keep your comments clean and out of spam because the yes yesterday's video I talked about how YouTube is now demonetizing channels or not channels but uh, videos <laughs> and maybe channels as well for their comments. Click that eye to see yesterday's video about that in case you're interested. 
Shadowzia wrote, The 3D sets are awesome. If you don't know what are 3D sets, just read the letter from the CEO of Freedom. Hint, hint, that's me. And scroll down to where we talk about 3D sets. You can see the 3D sets. You can download them and have instructions on how to use them. The link to this awesome letter by the CEO of Freedom is down there in the description below. You can click it and read all of the benefits that Freedom offers its partners. Moving on, we have Andre Rodriguez who wrote, Every content creator needs to moderate his own channel. Why? If you start a project on YouTube, it's your newborn, so please take good care of it. I like how you're thinking. I agree. Your channel is like your baby, so you should take care of it in every which way, not just about the videos you upload, but also about moderating the comments that people leave beneath your videos. And Mark Heider wrote, I don't know who moderates videos made by YouTube, like the YouTube Rewind 2008 video that got 2 million comments so far. Uh, yeah, the YouTube Rewind video, wasn't that the one that got the most dislikes of all videos on YouTube? Uh, let me know if that's correct in the comments below. That awesome KK wrote, wow, YouTube, well played. I don't think now new people would like to join YouTube. I know it may seem that way, but guys, remember, YouTube is an amazing platform that does so many things for the community. They've put these rules in place because they feel they need to to maintain advertiser confidence. So I know it sounds like we're always going, sir, yes, sir, <laughs> with everything YouTube says. But we have to remember and be thankful for YouTube existing. And uh, without YouTube, we wouldn't have this community or all these opportunities to create a career in video, right? Reporter Sunil asked, why are you not using ad breaks, custom ads on this channel? How many of you are doing that? These ad breaks that you can put commercials in between your videos. I know some people use them because they clearly make you more money, but I choose not to use them simply because I feel it distracts from, uh, from watching the video by being interrupted in a commercial. Now, this channel is a little special. The purpose isn't really to make money. The purpose is to communicate with you, Freedom Family, and make sure you have everything you need to be successful on YouTube. So other channels where it is really your livelihood and you're trying to make this a full-time job, I do recommend putting ad breaks in appropriate places to maximize your revenue. Do you guys use ad breaks? How? Where do you, how do you decide where to put them? Tell us down there in the comments below so we can all learn from each other's best practices. Elegant Fox wrote, if we can't give our opinion, like I know the video is bad and Guy said please comment below, I will say the video is bad. And that channel is gone. Just remove the comment system, YouTube. <laughs> I think what you're trying to say is maybe YouTube wants no negative comments, but I disagree. I think YouTube encourages honest comments. They just don't want comments that cross the line, that are uh, hateful or uh, endangering children or things that are illegal. As Noel Dizon uh, wrote, I think you can still say that a video is bad, but you have to turn that into something constructive. And I do encourage this. Um, there's many ways to say criticism, and constructive criticism is the best way, in my opinion. Uh, like Nold wrote, X person's video is bad because his video has lots of cuts. Some of the things he is talking about are not relevant. What you can do to improve on your video is to memorize or rehearse your lines and conduct research. These are our, all examples of great constructive criticism. Harlo de Aragon, WG, wrote, the problem is that they change their minds every single day. What is allowed today may be banned tomorrow. That's very true. We were quite surprised by some of the policies that YouTube rolled out, but after time goes on, we see the logic behind them. At first it may seem, wow, that was unexpected, like music promo channels. <laughs> Why are they now being YPP, YPP suspended? But as I described in a video, my perspective of that, uh, click that eye if in case you haven't seen it on why I think uh, music promo channels are being YPP suspended. Um, YouTube has quite far vision in the future. They know their platform the best. And so when they roll out changes like that, I think they're doing it with a lot of data and thought behind those decisions because they need to keep the whole platform clean. Guys, YouTube has over a billion channels, I think. 
how do you moderate a billion channels? Like we have 3000 in our network. We have enough trouble keeping up to date on every single channel with just 3000. So you can imagine what kind of job the engineers at YouTube have of creating policies that keep the platform clean of a billion <laughs> channels. Um, so let's not fault YouTube too much by its ever-changing, ever-improving policies. Let's try to understand them and, and work with them and adapt our own ways of making videos to, to be more compliant with YouTube's policies. Because as I mentioned earlier, YouTube is a great platform and we should be thankful that it exists and do our best to keep it healthy and clean. Do you guys agree? Tell me. You know where? <laughs> Down there in the comments below. All right, Freedom Family. I can do more read your comments if enough of you tell me you want me to do these. They just take a little extra time uh, near the end of the video, uh, but I'd be happy to do them if you tell me this is important, valuable, helpful uh, segment of The George Show. Remember our mission, Freedom Family. Roll it! Freedom is a career path in video. We want to help you build your career in this digital, digital world, not just video. Of course, paying you is one way we do that, but we do it in many other ways as well. The letter from the CEO of Freedom I mentioned earlier, oh, where did that go? Somewhere here, here, <laughs> documents some of those ways, but there are a lot more ways. For example, did you know we have a deal with a major record label? I'm actually not allowed to tell you what label that is, but for those of you who have music promo channels, email support at freedom.tm. One-on-one, -on -one, we can of course tell you the label, and you should head on over to our Discord chat server. We have an awesome community there that can give you real-time responses to your questions, and you can plug in to, get, to give advice to others as well. And check out our community forums where you can introduce yourself. All those links are down there in the description below under Collaborate With Us. All right, Freedom Family. Who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sunpai, <laughs> your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names I laugh because I really should change this up, right? I say this in every episode. And many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! And it's now, what time is it? Ah! 1 a.m. It's uh, 1 a.m. Friday morning, local time Dubai. And I am still trying to go through all my emails that you guys have been sending me about uh, we're hiring recruiters. Uh, so again, I apologize if I haven't gone back to you on LinkedIn. I will eventually, soon. But after this video is done, I need to edit it and then go to bed. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow. You know, Friday is a day off in uh, Dubai. Actually, Friday and Saturday are the weekend in Dubai. Sunday is like a Monday. Everyone starts work on Sunday and finishes on Thursday. It's a bit of an unusual system, but everything in this uh, Middle East part of the world, every country follows it. So uh, it's certainly not unusual for the people who live here. But if you ever visit Dubai, know that Fridays are your Saturdays. <laughs> All right, Freedom Family, keep safe. I'm George, and you've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom Family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. 
and PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.